and welcome to the update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. The Federal Health Minister is spruiking the idea of a vaccine passport. Greg Hunt says free movement around the country for those who've received the jab could soon be the way forward. If there were a breakout and uh, a border lockdown, then it's very possible that uh, states and territories working through the National Cabinet might waive that lockdown for them, that they may be able to pass across state borders. It's after a record number of people being vaccinated with 95,000 rolling up their sleeves yesterday. The PM admits the lack of COVID cases in Australia is causing vaccine hesitancy. A new survey shows that 29% of adults who aren't registered for the shot say they are unlikely to change their mind. But Scott Morrison is hoping they do. In a country where there's zero community transmission, it's different to the UK or, or certainly the US and across Europe where it's a choice between having the vaccine or putting your life at risk. Meantime, a program to help people seeking to return to Australia is being extended. $8 million has been set aside to hire more airline liaison officers. Well, four great whites have been caught on the New South Wales mid-north coast after that deadly shark attack. All of them have been tagged and released, but authorities don't believe any of them were the ones who mauled a surfer at Tunkurry just yesterday. A man has been crushed to death in Adelaide's second workplace accident in just 48 hours. The 35-year-old died after he was caught in a tyre pressing machine. And the New York Attorney General's office has launched a criminal investigation into the Trump organisation. This probe will run alongside a civil investigation which is already underway. Taking a look at your sport and the lawyer for Jamil Hopawate has vowed to take their fight for bail to the Supreme Court. That's after the former NRL star was refused bail over $150 million cocaine seizure. In entertainment news, and could Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott be getting back together? Well, the pair spent the day with their daughter Stormy at Disneyland and they looked every bit the happy family fueling speculation that they've rekindled their romance. Supermodel Naomi Campbell is a mum. The 50-year-old has surprised fans with the announcement that she welcomed her first child, a baby girl. It is unclear though who the father is and whether Campbell actually gave birth herself. And and Jason Derulo has become a first-time father. The singer and his girlfriend welcoming a baby boy. No word yet on a name. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We will see you tomorrow morning, though, for another episode of The Update.